How to stop people from sliding out of their wheelchair, part two, the seating. Okay, so you've got the setup of the chair down pat, but the client is still sliding. What else can we do? A padded belt. Now a padded belt needs to be snug and it needs to be at the right angle. Snug meaning if it's just loose and you can like fit your hand or something underneath it, it's not really doing, any, doing anything. So if you actually want it to stop them from sliding forward, you need to clip it and then there'll be like a little D-ring that you pull to get it nice and snug, like you strap into a race car. Number two is the angle. Now this is probably the most common thing that I see done wrong, especially now little guy over here. Do you see how the belt is kind of mounted at like, well, let's just say it was, if it was down here, it'd be at a 45 degree angle. Now 45 degree angle is not where you want to mount a padded hip belt. And you can sort of see why even in this example over here, even though it's sort of holding him back, you can still slide underneath the belt when it's at a 45 degree angle. So a better way to angle it is a 60 degree or perhaps even a 90 degree. If you imagine mounting a belt at a 45 degree angle, the hips can still slide under there quite well. But if it's at a 60 degree angle, like over here, that actually holds the pelvis back into the chair. And if you want to have a bit more comfort and a bit more ability to lean forward, you can do a four point belt where you mount it at 90 degrees, which is great because it reduces shear and the client can still lean forward and be comfortable. And then you can have a rear pull over here to lock the hips down. And if you want to offer more support to somebody, you can also use a pelvic block. Now a pelvic block is kind of like, that's your pelvis there. So this is your PSIS. It's little dimples that you feel right below your belt line. You want to put a pelvic block around here and what that does is it encourages the hips so say this is the backrest encourages the pelvis to go that way and it also allows a bit of room for your bottom to sit under here so we're pushing your pelvis where we want it to go this is a terrible drawing i'm sorry i hope if, <laughs> if it makes sense but we're sticking with it because the next thing we're going through is the it well now this is like a side profile of a cushion where somebody essentially someone would sit into it like this and then there'll be a well or some sort of anti-thrust aspect to it and the cushion dips like that. So in order to do this, you need usually a, a quite thick cushion, like a four or five inch cushion. And most pressure cares, most pressure care cushions will have this anyway. They'll have this sort of built in. They might have a bit more foam built up over here and they might put some gel in between here and the client can sink into it. And then there's a little wall over here that stops the pelvis from going that way god it's getting so messy <laughs> and when you've done everything to the hips sometimes the slide is also due to what's going on in the torso if we've got a weak core what people often do is that they slide forward for more support so if you want to support if they've got a weak core then you might want to support their core with a deep contoured back or some lateral support okay so once you've done the setup then you want to look at the seating you want to make sure you've got a padded belt you want to make sure it's padded because you need it to be nice and snug you want to make sure it's at a between a 60 or 90 degree angle depending on if you're using a two-point belt or a four-point belt you want to support the pelvis by pushing a little bit of extra padding over here just at the PSIS to tilt that pelvis forward. You want to use an anti-thrust style of cushion or some sort of IT well, issue tube velocity well, to sort of sink the bottom into the cushion and create a bit of a ramp under here to stop the client from sliding forward. And you might want to also consider supporting the core. So if someone's leaning or if someone's sliding forward because they don't have enough core strength, and if we support the core, then maybe they wouldn't slide forward. Be free.